Hello there, this is Mel of Win in the Stars Cosplay, working again with Arta Wigs to give you an exclusive look at one of Arta's new products, Vibra. This product is offered from Arta Wigs and can be found on their website at artawigs.com. So what makes Thibra so unique? Well, it has a lasting ultra smooth texture, but also has all the qualities of thermoplastics that we have grown to love. Like any other thermoplastic, Thibra can be heated using a heat gun to warm it to a working temperature. Once heated, the product has a clay to taffy-like consistency. Thibra does have a glue in it that is activated by heat, allowing it to stick to itself and other materials. Scraps can be added together and molded into desired shapes. Seams can also be easily smoothed out with just your finger or other tools. Thibra is also thin enough that it can be cut with scissors with ease. Once it is warm, you can place Thibra over pre-made designs and it will retain the shape with wonderful accuracy. Since the material is a little more malleable than other thermoplastics, fingerprints and dings from nails or tools are easily made. Luckily, they can be quickly smoothed out by rubbing your finger over them while the material is still warm. Be careful what you apply warm Thibra to, as it may firmly adhere making it very difficult to remove. I would recommend putting a thin layer of Vaseline on anything you do not want Thibra to stick to. Speaking of what Thibra can stick to, let's take a look at a variety of common materials used in costume creation and see if Thibra sticks to it. First up is Craft and Ava Foam. Warm Thibra was placed onto the craft foam and lapped over the back. However, it didn't stick that well to the foam, but if Thibra had a large enough overlap on the back or was used to sandwich the craft foam, you could easily use Thibra to cover your foam projects. Up next is a piece of veggie tan leather. It has not been altered by dyes or any sealants. Much like the foam, I made sure to overlap the Thibra onto the back of the material. Surprisingly, the Thibra stuck incredibly well to leather. It pulled away a bit from it, but after a lot of tugging, I was unable to remove the Thibra from the lever whatsoever. Next is an acrylic shape often used to make female chest armor. To my surprise, it didn't stick at all to the acrylic in this test. But based on my previous experience with thermoplastics, I would still recommend a small coat of Vaseline on the acrylic as a releasing agent. Next is a popular thermoplastic. I was very curious on how it would adhere and react with another common thermoplastic on the market. Both pieces were heated to activate their adhesive properties. Immediately, they stuck to each other with little issue and was still as flexible together as they were independently. Once cooled, they both went back to their previous hardness. Next up is a piece of fabric. I chose a piece of textured stretch taffeta hoping the texture would hold the thibra, but the stretch would give it a challenge. Like in the other test, I lapped it over the back. At first it stuck well, but was easily removed with some effort. Finally, a wooden dowel was tested with the thibra. Applying the material was easy, and it stuck very well to the wood once cooled. I was unable to remove the Thibra despite my very vigorous pulling and pushing of the material. So let's recap on what Thibra can and cannot stick to. Foam? Not so much, but you can overlap it or use a sandwich method and it will still work with Thibra. Leather? Yes. Thermoplastics? Yes. Fabric? No, not so much. Wood? Yes. But be experimental. I would highly recommend testing out Thibra to see if it sticks to your favorite materials before working with it. Now that we know what Thibra is and what it can do, let's make something with it. To test out Thibra in actual application, I used it with foam to create a pair of horns. Pink insulation foam was used as my base. To get my primary shape, I drew out the shape of the horn and then carved the foam into a rounded shape. To do that, I used a variety of tools such as X-Acto blades and foam shapers. After it was carved, I did a quick sanding over it to make it as smooth as possible. Once the foam was shaped how I wanted, I marked out 3 fourths of an inch segments on the fibra and then I cut them all out in strips. Started from the tip of the horn, I worn up small sections of the thibra strips and then wrapped them around the foam shape. Since thibra is very easy to smooth out, it made hiding the seams incredibly easy. I continued to work down the horn overlapping each layer until the foam was completely covered. 
The beauty of Thibra is its smooth texture. These horns had no pre-paint pep work at all. They were simply covered in two to three coats of high gloss spray paint. This is the amazing finish that you can get with Thibra. If you're interested in working with Thibra for your own costuming or art projects, please check out artofwigs.com for ordering information. You can find me, my costume work, and more crafting videos on winnofthestars.com and on Facebook at Win of the Stars Cosplay. Happy crafting!